Hello everybody, Six Speed Dakota here on this beautiful September day. Can't really tell because i got the garage closed right now, but just have to take my word for it. Today's project, I'll be working on my mom's 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe. Just needs a simple oil change. It's just a little bit different than the, uh, than the everyday ordinary oil change, just simply because of the filter. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so some stuff you're going to need. All the tools you're really going to need is a 17 millimeter wrench, the drain plug, and a 10 mil socket with an extension of 3 8 ratchet. We'll get to that in just a second. You're also, for this engine, you're going to need six quarts or liters of your favorite flavor of engine oil in 5W20. And, of course, a new oil filter. Now this oil filter is slightly different because it actually isn't a cartridge, it isn't a canister, it's actually a cartridge that you just replace. It's a little bit cleaner per se, but it can be messy if you don't know what you're doing. Also, I highly recommend the nitrile gloves. So the first step is get the engine warm. Once the engine's warm, Come over here. Now this vehicle has. Oh, come on, focus. 42,000 K on it, and Hyundai recommends changing the engine oil. Here's the hood latch down there. They recommend changing the engine oil every 6,000 K, or 4,000 miles, or six months. So under here is the. Oh, that's kind of warm. So now you see why you need the 10 mil. Because so you got two bolts here, two bolts here, and two bolts here. Now the two top and the two bottom are just acorn nuts, and these two in the middle are actually bolts. Because if you look right here, this guy right here is the oil filter housing. The oil filter is actually on top. So the first step is to get this guy out of the way, this big plastic cover. So, just loosen and remove all six bolts. Now a crank speed ratchet also helps a lot to speed this process up. So I'm going to get these guys off and we'll be back with the next step. Okay, so here's what the engine looks like with the cover off, the engine oil filler, your front three spark plugs here, and then your back three are underneath the intake manifold here. Now, it's not as bad as some, such as the Toyota Sienna is a pretty hard one because this, all this manifold's held on by, it's just a few bolts, and this big guy comes right off. If you want to change the spark plugs, but however, these are iridium tip plugs, so I'm sure that they'll last for quite a while. And here's our oil filter housing. That's it. That's all. And uh, all you really need to do is just grab it with your hand and twist it off. I think I may have been driving this thing too hard because this engine's really hot right now. But yeah, if you have need a little help, then I recommend taking an oil filter wrench, a, a band wrench to it to loosen that guy off. But not too hard because if you crack that top lid, then you're basically screwed until you can get a new one. So... Now we're going to go underneath and start changing the oil. Alright, so if you look right there, that little cross hatchy thingy there, that's the engine oil pan. And be aware because everything underneath here may be really, really hot like it is right now. So, let's see if I can switch hands here. Okay, now this is the view from the front. I've already cracked the plug loose. Now the nice thing about this is there's no filter to change underneath. But same thing applies as changing your oil on a regular vehicle. Just when you get the plug out, pull it away very quickly and let the oil drain out. We'll wipe the plug off right there with a little bit of paper towel and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once your oil's finished draining, take the Come back up on the oil filter housing and attempt to ouch, remove it. 
Now if you need to give it some gentle persuasion, use a strap band wrench and don't force it too hard. Because sometimes that seal can lock it in there. Pretty good. You'll feel it come fairly loose. Twist this guy off. And quickly turn it upside down to avoid spilling all the oil everywhere. And that's the housing right there. And there are two seals. There's one like that and one right there that have to be replaced. So keep in mind. And this guy here is the big bad filter that needs to be changed. That's not all that hard though. So what I like to do is I pull this guy out. just pops right out. Tilt it to the side a little bit. Let all that nice oil drain out. And then I'll wrap it in some paper towel and put it back in the filter box that the new one came in. Okay, so now I'll take the new filter, all nice and clean and shiny. And then what you do is you just drop it down in there so it seats this bottom end here on the little ring down there. I don't know if it could go either way. I haven't really tried. Let's. Oh yeah, it could go both ways, but usually I like to put it so that the writing is facing up. And then give it a, a good push on there so that it's, it's good and on there. Now we're going to have to remove these stubborn O-rings. So over to the bench. Okay, now that little bugger right there is the biggest pain. And then this one here is a little bit easier. So if I can demonstrate this like this. Take a screwdriver, preferably a small pocket screwdriver, or an X-Acto knife works too. If these things are really caked on there, you can just cut them. Make sure that you have new O-rings in the kit. Never, there we go. Never ever should you reuse these things. Here's the old one. It's all kind of cracked and beaten up. So, got the new package of them right here. Okay, so I got the new O-ring here. So we're gonna put it up. And get that back in view again. I'm going to put this around the thing and just slide it into that big groove there. Don't be afraid to stretch it just a little bit. I mean, it is made of neoprene, so. And there's that one. Now this little one can be a touch on the tricky side. But basically you just kind of push it on from one side like this. And there we go. Now, take a little bit of engine oil. Just like any other oil filter, you're going to dab a bit on the seals there and spread them around. Just like that. Now it's time to install this guy again. Okay, so don't worry if there's a little bit of used oil that gets in the housing because it's just going to drain out. So turn it upside down, or in this case right side up I guess. And just basically turn it. And you should start to feel some resistance, but it should sink right in there. And what you should see is this housing flush with the cap. If there's a gap there, then take it out and re-lube those O-rings and try again because that cap, if that's not all the way down there, it's going to leak. That's all there is to it. That's how you change the oil filter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath and put the plug back in. Now don't forget also that there is a metal drain plug washer on there that needs to be replaced. So don't forget to do that while you're underneath here. Oops. Snug that guy up. Don't be afraid to give it a decent snug because 
that pan is made of steel. You know, don't kill it, but you can, you don't have to worry about stripping the threads out because it's not made of aluminum. Okay, so once you got the oil filled up, I've got five liters or quarts. Get in there, you little bugger. A 5W20. It has to be 5W20. If you use 10W30, 5W30, you will end up blowing the motor up. So it's perfectly the full line right now. So, put the cap on. Always put the cap on. Don't ever run about the cap because it will make a mess. Also, make sure that you pull your drain pan out. Help the tip. If the fan decides to kick on, it's going to scatter the oil everywhere. Now, there's no maintenance reminder system in this kind of vehicle, so you don't have to worry about that. So, pop the garage to prevent gassing us in here. I seem to have left the keys somewhere. Let's try this again. Okay, I seem to have relocated the keys. So, on most of these Hyundai's, the ignition is right there. So, I'm going to turn the key on. Notice that the oil pressure light is all the way down in the left hand corner there. So we're going to make sure that that guy is not going to come on once the engine's running. So crank the engine. There we go. It goes away. So. Hold the engine up at about three. The oil light doesn't come back on, so we're okay. So, while the engine's running. Come over here and make sure this filter housing's not leaking. And it isn't, so we're okay and in good shape. We can top up the oil and put the cover back on. Okay, I've got the engine oil topped up. This engine actually really only takes about five and a half quarts or liters. I'm gonna take this stupid thing. You know, one trick is to line it up with the hole here, and then just work it around Oop. until you get the, both of those in there, and both of those in up there. Just take your acorn nuts and the two bottom ones. And the two top ones. Ow, that coolant tube is very hot. These two guys here. Now remember that these go straight up and down. They don't go at an angle like the other two. There we go. And just cinch them down. So, it's really a simple process on changing the engine oil in a Hyundai vehicle, a newer one, with a cartridge style filter. It's really not that hard. And uh, most Mercedes and BMW also use a cartridge style filter. Just be sure that you replace the O-rings and lube them thoroughly before you install the filter housing back down there. So, i got a couple things left to finish up on this car. But uh, thank you for watching. If you got any other comments or things that you want me to do, I can only really, really do what comes into the garage here, but uh, I'll try my best. Uh, so uh, let me know if there's something you really want to see, and I can hopefully make that happen. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy.